Good morning. It's Monday. Oh my gosh. I guess I should send a word out because I'm going to go live on the app today. It is so cold. It is like 33 degrees here. It is so cold. So, what is the weather? We're supposed to get snow Wednesday, by the way. So, degrees here. I was coming. Say good morning when you jump on, you guys. Say hi. Say hi. What's up? Because it is Monday. It's early, which we always, you know, we're here for it. Kind of just chat. Hi, Danny. <clears throat> I'm going to go live in the app, so I'm going to send a notification out. It is so cold. It's like 33 degrees here. Hi. Hi. Good morning. It's so cold. My fingers are like, I'm trying to like move around and just get things kind of going. Good morning, Paula. Oh my gosh. You guys, you guys, I got stories. I got stuff to tell you guys, okay? Oh, Heidi, you're so beautiful. Hi, Hope, good morning. I'm just gonna send a notification out on the app because I um, decided just to go on Facebook this morning. I was freezing. Um, listen. Girls, we have, okay, if you're jumping on, sprinkle us out there, say good morning. We have a predator. We have a new predator, okay? Five chickens yesterday. And let me tell you, um, let me just tell you, okay, so Saturday night, this was the craziest thing. Saturday night, I came over here to talk to Liberty because she was live, and that was her first time to go live. So I came over here. And I wanted to check on her, see how things were going, okay? I smelled a weasel. And it was really strong because weasels smell like um, uh, skunks. So I was like, oh no, like something's up, right? So I'm gonna send this notification out real quick. I'm like, oh no, we've got another weasel. Um, and so, yeah, I forgot to tell Brent I forgot to tell Brent, okay? And so I just didn't think about it again. I thought, well, you know, I don't know what it was. I was busy, I'd been working all weekend, and I smell it, and I go home, I get in bed, I'm exhausted. And so, yeah, five chickens bit the dust, okay? Five chickens kinda just, um, yeah. And so now Brent last night set up a trap I gotta take this filter off. It is driving me crazy. I don't even know sometimes how I hit these things. Okay, there we go. And so, um, yes, five. And so I didn't want to know. I don't want to know which ones they were because they're my friends. So I'll just have like this moment. And okay, so Brent set up a trap. And our neighbor has like, I don't know how many freaking chickens, okay, you guys? Like, I, I mean, not chickens, but um, cats. So the cats and the chickens just get along. They intermingle. It's the funniest thing in the world. You'll have my chickens literally burrowing in, taking their little naps, getting their sand bath. Hi, Sandra. Good morning. I miss you. And so the cats will just come over and hang out and lay next to the chickens. So they, they kind of like just get along. So I know it wasn't the cats next door. But the hound dogs have been really loud at night, and I don't know, I know they hear things, they see things, it is, it's fall, it's winter, um, but the predator really did a good job. Like, he was hungry, you know, okay? Like, so, Brent set up a trap, he put chicken wings in there, he put chicken in there, so he came back in and he said, okay, we're either gonna catch Buddy, which is the dog, we're gonna catch Buddy, we're gonna catch this weasel, or we're gonna catch a cat. So <laughs> we don't know what's gonna be in this trap this morning. Good morning, you guys. If you're new to me, please say hi. Uh, let me know where you're from and thank you for sprinkling me out there so we can chat. Usually on these morning lives, we do more talking than shopping, but it is fall and it is time to get some new wardrobe items in your closet. So yeah, we lost five chickens. That's a lot for us in one bang. Last year got kind of rough because last year was a hawk. So last year um, it was a hawk that came and got a bunch of them. And so 
usually a bigger critter would take them off. Thank you so much, Heidi. Thank you for sharing me out there. I really appreciate it. Um, and I want you guys to know too, if you're scrolling by, give us a chance. We're a small boutique in Southern Utah and it's free shipping to you. And I always send you a gift in every single order. Danny, I love you. Okay, go, go ahead, go ahead. Even if you could just like leave me on and put me in your drawer. There you go. Leave the phone on and slip it in your drawer. Mm. Isn't this the coolest little tumbler? Um, I had uh, a customer, Amanda took my logo, that B logo right there, and put it on a tumbler for me, that B logo. And I love it. Thank you so much. It actually works very well for my matcha. Okay, so I have another story. So we might have caught, that's my B logo, by the way. And I don't know if, like, that's mine. Hey, yeah. So anyway, so, all right. So to this weekend, I, there's been a lot of changes happening. Um, and you guys know that I've been kind of learning on my own, working through a bunch of this stuff. And, um, so a lot changed on the back end for us and it's been clerical. So like, I don't know how many of you like to do spreadsheets and fill out spreadsheets, but it is like a freaking, it's just, it's tedious. It's a nightmare, right? And I don't know, I don't, Paul, I don't know if you do it in your job, Danny, do you? I don't know if you're in previous life, if you did, and then Heidi, um, I don't know if you work on a computer at work, but it is such a tedious thing, right? So we have this spreadsheet with 5,000 different items on it, okay? And so you have to remember one style could have, you know, we could have, for one style, we could have, you know, five smalls, five mediums, five larges. So it, it kind of just gets like very long. So I was working on it on my Mac laptop, on my, on my lap in the living room, because Brent's been working in the yard. Brent's trying to get the yard winterized. We're supposed to get snow on Wednesday. So he's been working diligently in the yard, because we've got to get the yard ready. So, and obviously we've got to get the chickens ready, and now we have to catch a predator. And that's not the TV show, but we can make it a TV show. You know what would be really cool too? We set up a cam, and I literally tile it, catch a predator, and you guys can see us trying to catch this thing that's getting my chickens, right? Um, so anyway, I'm working on this spreadsheet. I've been working on a spreadsheet for four days straight, and I want to pull my eyeballs out. I want to gnash in my hair, right? I want to run around. So I had a matcha. I had a matcha in a coffee cup. And this is yesterday, no, this was, when was this? This was Saturday morning. This is Saturday morning. Okay, I'm telling you guys my crazy stories. Just go with me. I love you guys. You know you guys know I'm crazy. So I'm sitting there with my matcha, and I'm, I'm one hand in this spreadsheet. Brent's outside working. Tassie's running around. My dogs are like crazy. And I don't even know at what point Stephanie didn't stop and go, you know what? This is probably not the best freaking idea in the world to sit here at a computer on the laptop on the couch with 500 animals and a, a three-year-old, right? And so I had this matcha in my hand and the computer actually asked me for some matcha. So the computer was like, hey, you know, I need a break too and I need some caffeine. So how would you like about sharing your matcha with me, right? And so Stephanie drops her matcha, like, oh, you want some matcha? Okay, I'll give you some matcha. Uh, you Apple computer that costs too much? Sure. Oh my gosh, I spilled this matcha all over like my lifeline because I, you know, that's what I use when I'm not over here at the warehouse. That's what I'm at home working on all night long. And so me, I take this thing and I've got it like upside down, right into the kitchen, and it's just dripping all the way to the kitchen, right? And this is matcha, like sticky, you know, all that good stuff. It's not like, yeah, I'm just, and I'm about to cry because I already know, like, I already know I screwed up. But I'm trying to think in my brain, what could I do? So I'm carrying it, like, upside down. I'm letting it all drip, the matcha, to the kitchen. It's all, it's like, like all the way from the couch. I got to trail the matcha to the kitchen, right? And so I'm like, okay, all right, dogs, stay there. Tassie. I don't care if you get Play-Doh all over the house. Okay, hold on. So then I run to my bathroom and this laptop is literally still like dripping, okay? So I grab my hair dryer, I put it on the highest cool setting, right? So you have the cool setting, you have the hot setting. And I'm standing there blow drying this laptop. 
in my bathroom, which is about as small as a little dog house you get from Walmart. And I'm standing there and I'm like trying to, you know, and it's still dripping. And I got, I mean, it's, I'm telling you there, yes, Heidi, there was matcha on me. Cause I'm trying to get this stuff to like, you know, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So anyhow, let's just say this. I thought I saved my laptop, right? So I put it down, I let it dry, I let it charge. And then I'm like, okay, it's gonna be okay. So I start using it and then the keys are sticky, right? So if the keys are sticky, um, I'm, I'm thinking, oh no. Like I've done, you know, there's no way beyond this, right? There's no repair from this. So I actually start using it for a couple hours and it starts to die. So I go start to charge it and guess what? It won't even charge. So it doesn't charge, it dies. I try to plug it in again, it's dead. Okay, so this Apple uh, little MacBook that I live by, like literally live by, has um, drank a hot cup of matcha and not made it. And so I'm now wondering what the matcha is gonna do to me if uh, my MacBook can't handle it. So anyway, that's what happened to that this weekend. You guys are freaking already shopping. I love you. Thank you, I, you're amazing. McClay, good morning. Where are you from? Please say hi to us. Do not be afraid to say hi to us. Get in here and say hi. So anyway, free shipping to you guys. We're small boutique in Southern Utah. And do not feed your Apple MacBook a hot glass of matcha in the morning because as, as much as the computer thinks it needs some caffeine guess what it doesn't need it doesn't need that kind of caffeine so i just uh man yeah that was wow so it's been an interesting weekend and then we had a windstorm lori i miss you good morning how are you darling i have not seen you and i'm good morning to my friends i am so excited um okay sandra so matcha is like a, it's kind of a tea. Um, uh, it's um, I can let me Google it really quick. So it's um, Brent actually got me onto it, and then my doctor. So I go to my hormone doctor after my IVF, remember? And so um, let's see here, matcha. Um, she was telling me she goes, look, it gives you energy, but it's not like coffee, right? So you don't have that huge rush. And then that crash afterwards. So um, anyway, let me pull it up right here. So, do, do, do. so it is a form of caffeine. Let's see here. What exactly is matcha? Matcha is a high quality type of coffee made from a specific coffee bean. It's easily, easily confused with another flavored drink, mocha. Uh, which combines coffee and chocolate. So it's actually coffee, which I, you know what? There's not, there must not be enough caffeine in it to make me crazy because it doesn't make me crazy. It makes my laptop crazy, okay? Um, and it's actually like against the word of wisdom. So I'm not even supposed to be drinking it um, because of my religion, but you know what? I'm gonna drink it. So I usually drink Spark and I really, I've told you this before, Sandra, I really like hot drinks and I don't know if I sent you a sample of the Spark, but I really like hot drinks in the morning. And so they don't have the cranberry um, apple cider yet. And so that's what I'm waiting for to come in. But um, so it's been interesting this weekend. I will tell you that um, with friends like mine, I want to know who needs enemies or has enemies. Like I, I, I can't figure it out at this point, but moving, moving, moving past that. So I want to show you guys just a few items. I don't have a whole bunch. I wanted to talk to you guys this morning. Um, so what, like, it is really, really cold here. I don't know who else um, is going to get the snow. Are you guys, does, is it in your forecast to move your way? I think it is because we're getting it starting to come in. Like I see the frost this morning and then tomorrow night it's supposed to get really cold and then we're supposed to get, like, I'm talking about snow. So, and we're in Utah. So if it's blowing your way, I apologize, but I'm hoping it doesn't stick around here too long. So. Anyway, I look, I'm not even selling you guys anything again. Look, I'm just, um, I love apple cider. Christina, hi, gorgeous. Good morning to you. Um, Sandra, I love hot apple cider too. You know what I wish, um, and I just do the spark packs because it's got a lot of like cranberry flavor in it and I warm it up. But I, I wish we could like spike 
the apple cider drink to have caffeine in it so I can warm it up in the morning. Um, okay, Laura, listen, I'm going to pack you all the snow, all the snow. Paula, don't be mad at me, Paula. I was going to text you. I think we're not going to be here when you come. I think we're going to go ahead and go to the Dallas market. Um, it's the last market this year and on a whim. And I, I sincerely was like not even thinking about it. And, uh, but Brent will be here. Tassie will be here. I don't know if you really want to see them, but like, um, you love the snow, Christina. I felt so bad because I was like, okay, I should go to the last market this year because, um, like we actually, I've seen boutiques actually canceling lives because they're not getting their product. So I got really worried and I was like, hey, Britt, I think I should go to the last market of this year, which is in Dallas the same time. I didn't realize this, that Paul is going to be in Vegas. So I guess I'm just going to have to fly out to Jersey. I'm just going to have to fly out to Jersey. That's all there is to it. I have a good excuse now to go. Um, Christina, how are you, by the way? I hope you girls are doing amazing. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. So, um, listen, by the way, we have, um, the, on the website, we have some really, really good uh, powdered drinks. And I tried them, and they're just, I'm talking about rich cream chocolate. Um, I know, Paula, I actually feel, ter like my heart aches. I feel terrible. I feel terrible. But you won't have to drive here, I guess. Save yourself the three hours and just spend time. Okay, I will let you know today. I will know within the next three hours if we're gonna do it or not. Um, because um, I don't wanna go the full week that market's there, but I'm also afraid if I don't, um, if I don't go order all the spring, summer, now, um, you guys have seen the news. You guys know what's happening. You know the cargo is not getting unloaded. If I don't order it now, I actually don't know if I will have spring summer product that I have touched and felt. So that kind of concerns me um, because now, like I said before, some people, some people, analysts are saying it'll be 2023 before we are caught up at the docks, and so that's kind of scary to me. Um, but uh, I mean, you know, we'll, we're going to do what we do. I always push through. I always fight. The boutique is my baby, Paula. And that's one of the things that um, I, you know, something happened this weekend uh, that was very heartbreaking to me because I felt betrayed. And so um, you guys know, you guys know I work a lot. You guys know that I'm here. Hi, Dorothy. Good morning. Say hi. Please let me know where you're from. And so you guys know the boutique is like, I, you know, I'm, I'm a hundred hours. I'm seven days a week. I'm learning and I'm, I'm not a tech person. I'm always, um, hold on, Danny. I might not be here. Danny, I think I might go to the last market this year in Dallas. Danny, good morning to you, gorgeous. Um, when are you guys getting the snow, by the way? I think you guys are getting hit first. So I'm, I'm in a conundrum here. I'm thinking I need to go to the last market this year and try to hit it for spring and summer merchandise because that is going to be the last order that vendors are going to do because they can't get merchandise here to America. So, um, yeah. Anyway, I, I you know, I am, I'm torn. And I even told Brent, I was like, I, I don't know, like this is a hard decision, you know, because I don't want to leave for a week also. I don't want to leave Tassie for a week. I don't want to leave Brent for a week. Oh, by the way, let's go back to my chickens just for a minute. Okay, so we're losing chickens. We lost five. We have a weasel, we think. We have a predator. So late last night, Brent set the trap up and he's thinking we might catch something. But then he said, come here, because he had the flashlight, because we keep going outside to check. He said, come here, I want to show you something. So I'm thinking, oh my gosh, there's the weasel. Because weasels are bold. Like weasels will literally stare at you in your window, our window. We've had it happen. They'll just hang off the tree like this. And they're like, hey, what's up? What's up, dude? Like, what are y'all doing? Like, they'll just stare at us in our window, in our house. And so I thought, Brent was like, oh my, there's a weasel. Like he found the weasel already. So he takes me out there. And three of the chickens, one of them being the rooster, are idiots. They're sitting on the top of the gate. They're literally sitting on the top of the gate, perching on the top of the gate to go to sleep. And I'm like, you guys, you know five of you died last night. You might want to go into your coop and hang out. Okay? So, oh my gosh. 
Yeah, so anyways, we're looking for a predator. I'm gonna keep you posted because it's always fun when we can figure out who it is. It's like to catch a predator with bougie boutique, right? So anyway, um, <laughs> I'm not just talking to you guys. I'm not even selling you anything. Am I, am I the craziest boutique owner there is? Hi, Turner, good morning. So um, this is actually a white birch top. It is um, very, it's, well, first of all, if you have, don't have anything white birch yet, you guys gotta get something in your closet. But I call this the cedar, um, cedar striped long sleeve tunic. And it has, it's a very feminine high low. You wear jeans, leggings, you know, I would probably wear it also with like black leggings. And I didn't go live in the app, so um, I'm all on Facebook. I just, I just like, you know what, let's just go this morning with it. And it's $34.99, shipped to you for free. And then I actually have um, really cool goodies I've been sending out to you guys that uh, not just candy, but like hair ties and things like that. So I always like to put um, extra cool stuff into your orders because it's fun that way. Um, and then a lot of new customers, um, <laughs> yeah, so she's like talking. Okay, you guys are talking to each other. Thank you. So um, anyway, so we're, we're, yeah, we're on the prowl for, you know, a predator. I, and I say that because I, first of all, I don't even want to know which chickens because Brent had like a bag full and I'm like, oh my gosh. And then he comes and he opens the door to the house. He's like, hey, I need you to go get all the chicken for the dogs that's in the freezer and start dethawing it for me, please. Like I need you to, and I, cause I couldn't figure it out. I said, well, do I need to boil it? What do I need to do, right? Um, I, yeah, black leggings. So Danny, that's like when I was pregnant, I think I wore leggings like the entire pregnancy or dresses. I wore oversized dresses too. Maxi dresses, stretchy ones when I was pregnant. So anyway, this one is an oversized. I'm in a medium. It is, it's supposed to fit oversized, but I want to show you the cool details and everything that, that they do. Um, it's really, really freaking awesome. So that's a, the striped cedar, and then you have a different stitching here. And then there's your sleeve, and then your v-neck. So it's time to get some fall, winter items, especially in Utah, because we're getting snow. So it's basically, to me, when we get snow, I, that's winter to me. And then it'll like warm up for a little bit, and then we'll get some more snow. So just depending, I'm sure we'll get, we're at 6,000 feet. Danny, what, what's your elevation, do you know? Because we're at 6,000 feet here. So we're, we're the mountains, because we're, you know where Brian Head is, we're only like 15 minutes from Brian Head, the ski resort. So um, we'll see how much snow we get. I, yeah, it's gonna get cold. So $34.99 is actually a great, great deal. Uh, because uh, we have actually been bringing some great pricing in to you guys uh, for your fall transitional items. We have some just really cool stuff. You guys can go to the new releases. I've been dropping stuff in there. And then Thursday nights are always new releases. Um, and that's when I put them on, I try it on. Um, you're not ready for the snow. Danny, are you used to the snow? Cause you said, didn't you used to live somewhere else and then you moved here to Utah? Um, so I, used to live in Idaho, you guys, when I started my career, I've been in retail my entire career. I started Walmart when I was 18 years old and it was in Pocatello, Idaho, okay? And they get a lot of freaking snow in Idaho. A lot, of, or they used to, it a lot of snow. Like you couldn't get out of the driveway. And my first experiences with driving in the snow was in Idaho. And let me tell you, I was in a seven car pile up and I flipped and started it. I was on a bridge, I was an idiot, I hit black ice because I didn't realize, oh, the bridge is gonna freeze, there's black ice, you can't see it, and it was snowing. Yeah, anyway, so I'm not a fan of snow because I have had, how many wrecks? Two wrecks, two wrecks because of snow. So, you're, that's right, you did say you were from California. Okay, where in Japan did you live? Wait a minute, hold up, hold up, wait a minute. Okay. Where did you live in Japan and then where, do you, where did you live in, in Texas? When I was in Japan, I lived in Atsugi and I went to school in Camp Zama. I went to high school in Camp Zama. So we lived on the Navy date base, uh, Atsugi, and then we took a bus to the Army base, Camp Zama. And actually one of my customers, Shannon, we went to high school together. We both went to um, Zama, Zama High. So, oh my gosh, where in Japan were you, sister? And then tell me where you were at in Texas. Both of those are like my favorite places. So that I was just thinking about yesterday, you know, when the, as the world opens up, 
that is like on my vision board. So I don't know how many of you guys have vision boards, on, but on my vision board is to like literally redo, uh, okay, an hour from Tokyo, Yokota. Okay, I know where that is. So um, we actually used to go to basketball games. So how, how old are you? I'm like being nosy. How old are you? Did you go to high school there? Because we used to go there for um, basketball games because I used to play basketball in high school. That is such a small freaking world. Oh my gosh. Amber, what's up? You were stationed at Goodfellow. Okay. San Angelo. I like San Angelo. Um, I like San Angelo. San Antonio's got changed a little bit, but let me tell you, I still love the Riverwalk. I love the food. I love staying on the Riverwalk because I like to um, get a hotel room where it's got the balcony and you can see the, the boats go through there all night long. And then you can just go downstairs and go like to a Tex-Mex restaurant. Like I love that and I love food. I love, first of all, Texas is my favorite, but. Um, oh, you were 33, you were stationed there. Well, thank you for your service, by the way. I didn't realize you were in the service. That is freaking awesome. There's a couple of you girls. Like, I got three of you girls. Like, um, the four of you. That is so freaking cool. The food, Danny. Like, I miss the food so bad because you can't get it here. Like, you cannot really get good food in Utah. So, um, a dive experience. And maybe up north, I think up north is transitioning and starting to bring different stuff in. But down here in the south, the food in Utah is very bland, very bland. And I don't know why, um, um, well, you know what, that is so, that is so cool, Danny. Like, it takes, that takes a strong woman, girl. So now I know, like, you're a badass. Like, you're a freaking badass. You make your own food, Amber. I, I'm a foodie, I love to go eat out all the time. So my top is a uh, small through 3X, it's size inclusive. Again, I am in a medium. Um, I gotta sell you guys something. That's what, what, it's, what I keep my business alive, right? So everybody trying to open boutiques around here. I know, right? Yeah. You are, yeah, you're a badass being in the service like that. Girl, let me tell you, if I could go back there's probably two different things I would have done. And I probably said this before in one of my lives. I would have gone to school to be like a forensic, like scientist or something. I know I'm hungry too, Paula. I have not eaten yet. But I sincerely apologize if we're not here, but I will message you, Paula. Um, and then I told Brent to make it up to you. I'm going to get you something really cool and different in Texas. I was like, I'm just going to make it up to her. I, I will. So I, I got you. So, um, yeah, yeah. So since everybody else, uh, uh, everybody else, uh, you know what? With friends, my like, friends like mine, I don't know who needs enemies. Do you guys notice that? Watch, like, just my, like, just watch it. And I, I'm trying to stay in my own lane. I'm staying in my own lane. I'm driving. I got my head in a laptop. I got my head in a laptop. And then somebody you think is like your friend comes in and whack, right? And you're not even expecting it. You're like whack, but. Anyway, I'm going to head down and back in my lane, and we're going to do this. So i got to sell you guys stuff, keep my business going, right? So um, I have on everything from the boutique, but my cedar top I love because look at the back, too. And you can layer this with, like, a jean jacket. I actually think I'm going to wear this. If we go to Dallas, I'm going to wear this one day. By the way, Brooke has never been to um, – <laughs> I was going to message you, too, Paula, um, about it actually was I just didn't know if like if I was just you know you know you know I'm gonna change my top um so the top is really cute and it does go all the way to 3x and it's very affordable so it's, it's like again you guys know white birch is very um it's a quality product and um it's affordable and then let me, let me change into the palmer because this is also one of my, my favorites um from white birch and it's just um wow it is cold this morning okay let me just put that out there i'll be right back let me change my top um so we're 
I have, you guys, you guys have to stay tuned now for Brent's lives when he goes when he goes live because, um, you guys, to catch a predator is on. Like here at Bougie Boutique, we have something we have to we must catch so it doesn't eat the rest of them, my chickens this summer. And that stupid rooster sitting on that gate was he not an idiot or what? So, all right, here we go. And can I say? Danny, I'm gonna tell you something right now. If I was in Japan, like I would, you and I, girl, I would take the first of all. I would love to take. I I want to take Paula. Like I would love to. Like let's get on a plane, let's go to Japan, and all we're gonna do is go. Like first of all, we'll go see some of the culture, right? Like that's part of it. But majority of it, we would just eat. Like we're just gonna go like kind of like bar hopping, but you're not really bar hopping. You're food hopping. And I'm not sure exactly what that word, like what the verbiage is for that, but that's what we would do. And um, you'd have to come because your culture, you know Japan. Uh, that would be so much fun. Like girls trip, how much freaking fun would that be? Oh my gosh, and we would just go see, oh my gosh, so get your most freaking comfort, yes. I know, get, get Gyoza House. Did you go to the gyoza house? Like my freaking favorite, Danny. I could sit there and I could eat probably 20 or 30 of them. Just sit right there with just some sticky rice. And I don't even know where it goes, but I could just keep eating it. <laughs> so, um, oh my gosh. I would, like how much freaking fun would that be? If like, we're just like, okay, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do it for a year from now. We're gonna set it up, we're, you know, cause it's expensive to go. Cause it's so, everything is so expensive there. Um, even a freaking candy bar, but if we like set it out for a year, we book it and we're like, okay, this is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to go see. Like that was so freaking fun. Oh my gosh. It'd be so fun. And then Tokyo, I, I don't know, Danny, if you went up into the Tokyo tower, I love their gyoza, real gyoza, real gyoza. That is the only place I have. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Uh, so, and then like the tuna wrap, oh my gosh, I can't even right now. So, have you been to the Tokyo Tower? I went up there and I'm so terrified at heights, but we have to take her to those kind of places just to show her, like you can see all of Tokyo, right? And then the Tokyo Bridge. It was funny because during the Olympics, the Olympics was, would come on and Sandra, girl, what's up? So you guys got to get some fall clothes. I'm not even just talking to you. So. The Tokyo Bridge, when they had the Olympics there this season, and they had the, the bridge there, I, I kept saying, Brent, every time they got on, right, every freaking time they got on, I said, Brent, you know how many times I've been to that bridge, and then when you come back down around underneath, there's like almost like this fair park area um, underneath, and when we were in high school, we used to go listen I know this is crazy so hear me out we used to go because they used to beef up their cars almost like you guys have seen um, what is that ratio fast and furious okay so that's a real thing in Japan they really like I'm talking about lights everywhere like they really do their cars up like that and when I was in high school we had a bunch of Japanese friends that were off base and their cars were like lit up in every single freaking corner all the console, I'm talking about, it was just done up. So anyway, so we, in the middle of the night, you had to go at night, we would, we would drive an hour and a half to get to the Tokyo Bridge, we would get off, you go under, and it was like a car show with all these speakers, boom, 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 and the lights and everything else inside these cars were so freaking cool. And remember, I was in high school, so it was like forever ago, like forever ago, but it was the fun thing to do. And we just, uh, pumpkin donuts. What the heck are you talking about? Where do I get, where do I get pumpkin donuts from? Where do I get, where do you get those from? There's a grocery store? Pumpkin donuts. What? Oh my gosh. You guys, I need some pumpkin donuts. Oh, you can only see one comment at a time. That's nuts. Oh, by the way, I couldn't, I couldn't go live this morning. There's no live button on the menu. It was so weird. So I had to go, oh, at Smith's. Okay. Okay. So Smith's, I gotta go to Smith's then. Okay. So I had to go the back way 
to go live today because my live button is gone on my boutique page. And I'm like, well, damn, here we go again, y'all. Let's get on that circus. Let's get on that train, right? Let's just do it. So, okay, I got it. Patty, I know, mine's gone too now. It was there yesterday, now it's gone. Apple cider, wait, wait, wait. I'm writing this down. I gotta go to Smith's. Wait, apple cider donuts. I've had those before and they're freaking delicious. You have there at the bakery. Oh my gosh, Sandra, I would totally come out there. And then, um, pumpkin. Okay, I gotta go. Y'all are making me freaking hungry. And I love donuts, okay? Oh my gosh. So, anyways, I had to go back way to life. So, I don't know what's happening. And you guys know, you guys know that have been with me. We have been on this change roller coaster for freaking ever. Like, ever. And we're just riding the wave riding the wave so um and i think it's just changing for everybody and then who knows what happens next when it's you just hold your nose hold your ears and put your hands in your pocket because what's coming next <laughs> right so this one is a lightweight sweater um aren't the apple cider ones a little bit more crispy like a cake on the top am i am i right or has it just been a long time i'm not sure so this is the Palmer Chocolate. Erin, hi, gorgeous. You doll, you. How are you? I miss you, girl. So this is a lightweight sweater by White Birch. It has that quarter zip, and it's the Palmer Charcoal and Ivory Pullover hoodie. Um, but it's more of um, a very lightweight knit sweater material. And um, it's kind of, we've actually had some customers, I've had some customers message me um, coated in cinnamon. Oh, you're freaking making me so hungry. I love cinnamon sugar. I love, I miss you, Erin. You haven't been on social media that much. I think Instagram more, right? So, um, I try to catch you when I can on Instagram. Are you guys loving your holiday, your, your Halloween month so far? So it is a full hoodie and it's like lightweight sweater. Um, Paula, yes. What kind of puppy are you getting? Where are the puppy coming from? And it has pockets and it does come in small, medium, large, 1x2, no, I'm sorry, small, medium, large, extra large, 1x, 2x, and 3x um, for this one. So it's that quarter, and it's a little bit longer. So I like, I for me, because I am a mom and I have like mom hips, I seriously have like I have four daughters. So I like stuff that comes down to here. Unless I that new mom crop, I'm kind of crushing a new mom crop with a longer jacket. I am, excuse me, I'm, I'm crushing that look. So this is a lightweight sweater. Um, I know you haven't been on Facebook, I can tell. Um, okay, so where's the puppy coming from? Where are we getting a puppy from? What kind of puppy? I'm excited. Um, I'm excited. Oh, finally, America got groomed, and she bit the groomer. <laughs> she bit, and then she bit her breeder because the breeder came over and gave her a shot, and they said, no, she was just playing around. She wasn't trying to hurt anybody. But she needs, and her trainer actually canceled on us last week because her trainer just had puppies and didn't want to. Oh, I love pit bulls. Oh my freaking gosh, I love pit bulls. Oh, she's deaf. Oh my gosh, Paula, I love that you're taking her. Oh my gosh, I had two pit bulls and in my last divorce, he took them. But I will tell you, I those dogs are the sweetest, loving creatures. And I don't know like why they get such a bad rap. And here's what I think too, and this is what I read one time. I read one time that anytime somebody gets bit by a dog, that the newspapers and the media always say it was a, it's a pit bull. And it's not. Like they're like, oh, it's a pit bull, but it's not. So, and if you go Google it, the dog dogs that bite the most are chihuahuas. And I have three of them, okay? So let me just tell you, okay? Okay, let me tell you, my little chihuahua bites the hell out of me. So, You'll always have them. I, you know what? We should, um, we should actually, um, let me show you pictures. I actually had two of them. Um, loved them. They're very loyal animals and they're nothing like I think people anticipate. They look kind of scary probably, but, um, I'll have to show you guys, uh, what mine looked like. Do can you post a picture, Paula? Do you have a picture? I know little dogs are freaking sassy. What the heck? Oh my gosh. And Liberty will bite you just if you move in the bed wrong, if she's asleep. So that's like, stop. Just, you know, don't, 
Don't freaking bite. Why? Like, don't. Okay, here they are. Here they are. So these are the dogs that um, that I lost in the divorce. But this one, here's my pit bulls. There they are. So that one's um, Bella, and that's Sasha. So that's Bella and Sasha. And her, Bella, the crazy thing, girls, Bella, this guy was selling them in Oklahoma at Broken Bow, where we used to, like where the cabin was we had. He was selling them out of the back of his truck, and I couldn't stand it. I couldn't stand it because I didn't know like who was gonna take her. And she was the last puppy left, and I was like, okay, forget, I don't, like I don't, like and she is, and she is such a doll that she actually had to go on anxiety medication because she had really bad anxiety. So that kind of shows you like that she's not a bully. But anyway, so she was the last one left and the guy's like, okay, $300. And I don't know why, but my heart was like, okay, you know what? She has to be my dog because I don't know what's gonna happen to her. I don't know whose yard she's gonna be in. I don't know if she's gonna be in the house. I don't know what's gonna happen. So anyways, I went to the ATM machine and bought this freaking pit bull. Because I was like, she could not go to anybody else's house except for mine. I know, it's crazy, right? Craziest thing. So I had her since she was like, I mean, seriously, like this big. And then she got huge, like huge. So anyway, and other people were scared of her, but like, yeah. So that, I lost that in the divorce because I had to go move to an apartment. And in Texas, they don't allow pit bulls in apartments. So it is like what it is, but you know, you always love your animals no matter what. Like that's just true. So yeah, that's it, Paula. You don't, you want, like your heart is like, okay, nobody else is gonna take care of this dog like I can. Like nobody else is gonna love this dog like I know I can, right? So that's why you're like, okay, I'm gonna go steal a camel. I'm gonna rescue a camel. I'm gonna, I'm gonna adopt all these dogs. <laughs> and I have five freaking dogs. And I don't know how many chickens now because I have a predator. So, oh my gosh, you guys. So I'm glad you're getting another dog though because then that gives Maisie a dog to wrestle with and play with. So that's, that's really cool. So I don't know, uh, Danny, do you have dogs? And I can't remember, Sandra, if you do or not. And I know Aaron does. Um, Brooke doesn't, Brooke doesn't have a dog. So I don't, I don't know that her husband wants her to have one. So a lightweight hoodie, very lightweight. It is a sweater material, pockets, uh, small, medium, large, extra large, 1X, 2X, and 3X. Um, I've got a lot of compliments on this one. This is the Palmer uh, chocolate and I, chocolate. Charcoal and ivory pullover. Um, Maze is exhausted. She does need a friend. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I remember your cat person now. I remember. Okay, you have a boxer. Okay. When I years ago, I had. I, let me see. Golly, seventeen years ago, I think I had a boxer um, when I was in Burke Burnett, Texas. So the, uh, Sonia Hobson would know that because that's when her and I were hanging out and working together. So I had a boxer. Those were actually really um, beautiful animals and they're tame too. So I know people get scared of these bigger dogs, but I don't know why. Um, and I love big dogs. So I now have a big puppy play day and pull them all together. And then I can have somebody put uh, freaking America in her place. Like America, hey, chill out. Don't be bite, like just chill out dog. Like, oh, I can't wait till she gets some training. So. All right, let me change again really quick, you guys, because um, I've got, oh my gosh, got um, some, some newer shirts that I wanted to show you if you missed the live the other night, and they're, they're really nice for layering uh, with jackets and stuff, so let me change so you can see these, and let's see, let's see here, okay, all right, so I didn't put this color on. These are, um, it, some of them love is, the material is always very soft, very stretchy, um, and kind of a little bit of a cooler material. Um, we have the three colors I wanna show you because these are just really, really cool to have because they're so soft. Um, she's a runt. Well, that's cute though. Like I, Go after a big dog versus a small dog. You guys, um, I uh, I love, I, I do love dogs. I have too many, I have five. 
but let me tell you, okay, let's be honest, okay? Let me tell you guys for just a second. The first dog I had when I got my divorce, because apartments let, they let you have chihuahuas. I couldn't bring my boxers with me. So, um, I had, it's actually my daughter's chihuahua, my middle daughter, Aisha. So, what happened uh, was that she was obviously in college, you know, she's doing her college days, her fresh, she went to, she went to community college in Texas. And I was going through divorce and dogs are way more loyal than people and I wish I could employ them, Paula. If you can, if we can figure out how I can employ dogs instead of people, that I, I'm here for it. We need to, like they can pack orders, put your gifts in there, put the label on there. I am here for it. Um, just to make my life less um, emotional. Um, so anyway, I didn't remember what I was saying. Okay, so the Chihuahua, let's get to the Chihuahua really quick, okay? So the Chihuahua was my daughter's and she ended up with me. She was going to community college and again, she went off to a church mission for a year and a half in, um, actually she went to Pennsylvania and Maryland, that area. Anyway, so um, these are really affordable girls and very soft. Like you, the softness in these are off the charts, like stretchy, and it's a very soft cooling material. It's by So In Love. Um, and we do have um, small, medium, large, 1X, 2X, 3X, if you're an extra large, I mean, yeah, if you're an extra large, get a 1X in this one. Um, but you're gonna love the feel of these, just how soft they are. But I, so I have the Chihuahua. She's now blind in one eye. I think she's now, I wanna say she's like, whew, how old is this dog? 12, 10, 12, something like that. And then we got Liberty Bell, which is Brent's dog. Brent got her when we got together. And then Buddy. Buddy was another animal that I felt really bad for. He was the only one there. And I thought, why is he eight months old in a puppy mill? I can't take it. So I had to bring him home. Am I crazy, you guys? Like, I can't, like, emotionally, I cannot leave them there. There is something wrong with me that I can't walk away and say, okay, this just can't, I can't do it. And then, like, just a couple weeks ago, Brent went to the pet store. And there's an, I don't even know why there's a new pet store here in Cedar City. And so he sent me a picture. And then we keep talking about, oh, that dog need that dog needed a house. And I'm like, where are we going to put another dog? We adopted Della. Then we brought one of our puppies home. I, I don't even know. So I don't know what we're going to do. And I just want to take on every other animal that like needs a home around here. They post it and they're like, and then, oh, here's my other issue. Anytime a new rooster get like they post like okay come get this rooster or he's gonna be somebody's dinner i'm like oh my gosh brent we gotta go get a seat brent was like we cannot have any more roosters we already have one no more roosters because people don't like roosters obviously because of where they live they're loud you know roosters can be very mean and i'm like oh my gosh we gotta go save it we have enough property but i you know they start to fight and they gotta get nasty so i want to save every rooster in utah when they post it i i have a problem so um, oh, good. <laughs> okay, so how does he feel about all the dogs? How does Nick feel about the dogs? Because Brent gets like, okay, we need to save this dog. But then after we get home, he's like, oh my gosh, we have another freaking dog. Oh my gosh. And when I married Brent, he hated dogs. Like he didn't hate them, but he was like, I don't, I don't, I don't want dogs. I'm going to do them. Nothing, nothing. Like nothing. He wouldn't even talk to dogs. I was like, why don't you talk to Theo, your dog? Because it was his, you know, his wife, previous wife has passed away from pancreatic cancer. I, I don't know if you guys remember that or not. But his previous wife, Stephanie's mother, had passed away. And so Tiger went with Stephanie. And then um, Theo went to his neighbors. But he wouldn't even talk to Theo. And I'm like, why don't you talk to your dog? He's like, they don't understand you. I'm like, yes, they do. They understand every freaking word you are saying. You can have a conversation. I will have a whole conversation with Nettles. If Nettles could talk to you guys, the stories that she would freaking tell you, because her and I have had several conversations, like full-on conversations. So, yeah. Anyway, so now he talks to the dogs. And he talks to the chickens. Hi, Jenny. Good morning. He talks to the chickens as much as he talks to the dogs. So finally, we, you know, got him to a good place where 
he's emotionally attached to his animals. I think I just think he worked too much, and it was more uh, a chore to have him. I'm not sure. So I mean, that's my theory, but you know, who knows? So this is the uh, Kimmy Soft V neck uh, long sleeve top. It is by Sew and Love. And they are like really stretchy, and it's a it's a cooler material uh, when you put it on. Um, you're gonna love first of all how soft it is because it's really really soft. Like you're gonna feel comfortable all day long. And I'm loving these fall colors. So here is black and ivory, and then you'll just click on there. I fixed the picture. So what I did is I actually I don't. This is what I did, you guys. You're not gonna believe this. So Saturday I worked all day long. Sophie came in. We got some photos of the new stuff that came in. And I completely forgot. Yes, they know your energy. They know when they, you need them. Um, they know all, I, dogs are amazing. At, by the way, Buddy is an earthquake detector. Buddy knows when we're gonna get an earthquake here in Utah before anybody in the house. Um, so like now I'm like, cause Brent's like, we should just get rid of all our dogs. I'm like, seriously, like what's, how are we going to know our earthquakes coming? Cause buddy gets up and running around the house before it even happens. Right. So he's just kind of, he's like our like earthquake radar. Della's our watchdog. I'm not sure what America is. Well, America is Tassie's t cuddler. Cause she walks up. Tassie literally loves this dog so much. Tassie will go up to America, lay on her or hug her. And she say, I love you, America. I love you, America. Like she loves that dog. And then that dog will follow her all over the yard. Uh, so that's what I guess America is. And then Liberty, Liberty is just a fat lover. She's just a fat lover. So um, I, I want you guys to be able to try, like at least give, if you like these kind of striped shirts just to layer with, these would be the perfect start for your closet for so in love. Um, if you don't already have, I think like the Halloween ones, if you already got one of those and you already know, this is the exact same fabric as the Halloween's, Halloween sewn love tops or the graphics. Um, and then we have the lightweight sweatshirts from them too that are fabulous. So they just know, they actually know that we want soft, comfortable fabric on like our bodies. And we want the texture to be movable. And they kind of get us. Those vendor gets us as women and they know that we want um, to definitely um, not be itchy, right? And be able to, like you could go lay down and take a nap in this and it actually feels like a pajama material, but you could go to work in it, you can go walk in it, you can travel in it, you could do whatever you wanted to in it because that's how comfortable it is against your skin, how soft it is too. So they're true to size. Again, small, medium, large, 1X, 2X, and 3X. And then we have the orange, which I love, this one I love with like a jean jacket and, or first of all, I love orange anyway. And then the black and ivory, and then I have like a teal. But they're only 28 bucks. Oops. So they're actually a great quality um, and a great price for those. Cause those are so freaking cute. And they're so soft, like touch yourself. Like so, touch yourself soft. So it's like, fr I think it's literally seriously, maybe possibly, let's, oh, 36 degrees. 36 degrees. Let's see here. No photo. Oh my gosh. Look what Brent sent me just right now. He sent me a picture of Tassie when she was a little baby. That's what he just sent me. She was, okay, so Tassie, I don't know if Brent's ever told you this or not. Tassie was born very fat with black, pitch black hair, pitch black hair. And um, I'm gonna change. I don't I need to put this. I don't, let me see if I dare not. And then it, her eyes were really, really blue, really blue. And then um, I'm gonna put this coat on because this is really cute. Then her hair turned blonde. Then it turned red. Then her eyes turned green. Then her eyes turn brown and they turn green again and they turn blue again. Like it is the cycle of freaking life. Paula, she was enormous. Like enormous. And I, none of my babies were that fat. My other daughters were very small. And um, I'm blaming it on Brent. I'm totally blaming it on Brent because I was like, what? And I. I just looked at her when she was born and I was like, that is not my daughter. 
Like, that's not my kid. And that's the actually first thing I said um, to the doctor. I said it to Brent. I said it to everybody in the room. I'm like, that's my kid. Like, that's, ew. She was so ugly. I have to show y'all how fat. Oh my gosh. The reason why I have to show y'all how fat, because like, I don't think I've shown y'all this picture. Holy cow, she was so freaking. Oh my gosh. Like, enormous. See if I can find it. Okay. She's a fat child. Fat. She's so fat. There she is. Oh my gosh, Erin, you were 10 pounds? Are you freaking kidding me? Tassie was huge. Your pet, your kids, you had, Sandra, your kids were big too. Sandra, you're at 70 degrees. No, it's 36 here. Tassie was so fat. I was like, that is not my kid. It's not my freaking kid. And um, Brent was like, yeah, yeah, pretty much. She just came, I saw her come out of your stomach. Like that just happened. Like I saw him pull your intestines out and he was like on top of your stomach right here. And then like, yeah, I saw like this baby come out and that's her, like that is her. And I was like, that's not my kid. No, not happening. And that was just my story. And I just kept staring at her when I got her into the room. And um, cause I, I, I would not, I would not do, you guys, this is how crazy it is. I, cause I've never had a C-section before cause all my other kids were natural. All, my, my three kids I had natural. And so I, I was gonna have a C-section because Tassie was so big. And I said, I'm not doing it unless you give me a Xanax, right? He said, well, I can't give you a Xanax right now. Like you're fixing to go in and freaking have surgery, right? And I was like, I, you're not giving me a C-section unless you give me Xanax. He goes, okay, here's the deal. Like I, we're like, this is like the doctor and I having an anesthesiologist in the room or we're having like a negotiation. It's almost like we have to go to the office and we're gonna negotiate a deal, like a merger of some sort. Like this is, this is so true. So yeah, so that's how Tassie was to Erin. She was stuck. Her face was like stuck. So um, we're having like this merger, this conversation. And I'm like, oh, you're not, I'm not having a C-section. Like, well, we'll do this all day. Like I'll just, I'll push her out sideways if I have to, whatever, right? You just stick your hand in there rotator let's do this because that's what they do with Damara and so anyway I'm like yeah if I can have a Xanax he's like nope you can't have one because like you have to go get birth and I'm like well then I'm not gonna happen it's not gonna freaking happen right he forgets you so um he's like okay look you go do this and I'll give you something immediately after she comes out like immediately and so I don't know if anybody's ever had a Xanax injected like like with a needle, but that stuff, whoo, that hit hard, hit fast, because he looked like, I, I, got, I gave birth to Tassie, because I was like puking all the way there, I gave birth to Tassie, and he, 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 the anesthesiologist, like he got down in my ear, and he whispered, he goes, okay, here's your Xanax, and he, gets, and he gave me a shot in my shoulder right here, <laughs> and I was just like, okay, and I chilled out after that, but then I was like kind of loopy and I was like, that's not my kid. Like, that's not my freaking kid. Like, like that's not happening. So, um, oh my gosh, Sandra, isn't it like, cause you go in there, like you really go in there thinking you're just going to give birth because that's what I did with my other three. But I listen is the difference is there's a 22 year difference in my body. So I was, the doctor kept trying to remind me of that. He's like, it is 22 years since you have given birth. Remember that your body forgets what it has done seven, so the set after seven years, the body forgets, okay? And so 22 years, I hadn't had a kid. And I walk in there with my geriatric rear in, and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna give birth, I'm gonna push her out, we're gonna do this. And Tassie wasn't having it. And she was so swollen, that poor baby. So uh, I, I'm trying to show y'all stuff and I'm not even, I'm talking to y'all more than anything. But you do go in there thinking like, okay, I'm super warm and I got this, we're gonna do it. Yeah, that doesn't happen. That doesn't happen sometimes, it doesn't work out. So this is actually, if you don't have this hoodie, this is the cutest, softest, and it's the same material. It's actually the same exact material. It's really, really soft. Um, I think we have, 
I want to say we still have all the way to 3x. We might be out of the 2x or 1x. But it's small, medium, large, um, 1x, 2x, and then 3x. But here's the wings on the back. There's the wings on the back. And the reason I can't tell you is because I didn't go live in the app. I was like, just screw it. I'm going to go live on Facebook. So there's the, um, there's the wings. And then it's a full zip. Like it zips up. But it's the same material as my top. So, what is that material? I don't even know. But it feels like, um, here's what it feels like. It feels like a very soft lady material. That's what my top feels like too. Like very, very soft. And I wonder how they get the material like this now. Why couldn't they do that when we were kids? Like why couldn't they, why did we have to go to school with itchy clothes? Why did we have to go to school with itchy clothes on? Why wasn't it just as soft? Your, seven, your kids are seven years apart. Oh my gosh, Sandra. Mine are 22 years apart. 22. Oh my gosh. Good morning, Lindsay. So it's just a really cute hoodie. It's that soft legging material. And then there's your angel wings on the back. And then it is $42.99 shipped to you for free. But I think we still have all the sizes left. I'm pretty sure. And I'm like not even telling you what we have left. But if you click on there, it'll tell you. Because we had, we bought small, medium, large, and then the 1X, 2X, 3X of this one. So it's good. So it's size inclusive. But it's just really cute top, especially for a transitional piece for fall. And then as you're going into winter. But yeah, my doctor, he was like, it's just, it's just natural. Your body forgets. It doesn't remember giving birth. But the other funny thing is he told me that in the morning. And then I'm in labor with the pick for like 12 hours. I don't even know why the hell I'm telling you all this. And he comes in and he's like, oh, um, so like how long were you in labor with your last baby? Like, do you remember? I was like, yeah, I remember. Like she was just shot out. Like it was like, I couldn't even make it to the hospital. I was taking a nap. I woke up and she was like ready to come out. I got there and they were like, oh hell, she's ready. Like, let's go. And um, yeah, yeah, that didn't happen with Tansy. So anyway, now she's here and we're just so blessed that she got play-doh all over the furniture yesterday and all over the couch and the chair and the floor and the counter because i mom i thought it'd be so cool to get tassie play-doh i'm like brent we really gotta get tassie play-doh it's so much fun to play with like it's so much fun i cleaned up play-doh all i was sitting on play-doh i had my feet on play like i was i had play-doh in between my toes on the floor, you know, I mean, y'all know how my, my my floor issues. So I kept Swiffer in the floor, and I, I was like, how do I have Play-Doh in between my freaking toes, right? And then I'm eating my dinner on the counter. Brent makes like these mozzarella sticks. I'm like, there's Play-Doh under my freaking plate. There's everywhere, and I could not for the life of me get her to use. Um, I Play-Doh is fun. Play-Doh is fun. And I want to get her like all the tools to use with it too, like so she can cut and stuff. So I'm saying this like as a mom reaction because I kept cleaning up after it. But I know they were actually, they were the, they were the mozzarella sticks from Costco too. So he put them in the air fryer and they were really good with some ranch sauce. It was late last night because it's like got kind of, it got kind of dramatic last night. Kind of, kind of crazy last night. But anyway, so then I had like, I, you know, the Play-Doh on the counter. So, so what I did is I got her, Brent, brought, Brent bought a new cookie sheet. And I'm like, hey, Tassie, let's use this new, let's use this cookie sheet. It's never been used before. And then she could lay it all out on there. She could do whatever. She refused because I was trying to reduce the mess. So I was like, okay, let's not have like, no way, no way. She refused. So then I finally, Brent comes back in the house because he's trying to winterize the outside of the house before the snow and he's been working outside all day. And I, I said, hey, can you get her to use a cookie? Cause she listens to her dad more than me. Can you get her to use the cookie sheet? And so he goes and grabs a new cookie sheet, brings it to her and she's like, oh, okay, that's cool. You know, cause it's mom's idea. Hi Marla, mom's idea is not cool. It's always dad. Um, oh my gosh, you know what? Do they still have those Paula? Hi Marla, where are you from girl? Say hi. Do they still have the um, the hamburger and like the stuff like that? Maybe I should go check. Maybe that, you know what? That'd be a really good maybe Christmas gift for her. Let's make Christmas morning even more messy and do like the whole Play-Doh thing. 
with like the cookie cutters and all that stuff. How cool would that be, right? So, um, oh my gosh. It, it is fun too, because I was actually making stuff with her and then she asked me to keep making a kitty cat. And I'm like, okay, first of all, um, I don't know how to make a kitty cat. I'm not very good with Play-Doh. So guess what I kept making her? A snowman. A snowman. You know why? Because you could take it into three parts, make the, roll it to the small one, make the middle, and then put the top on there. <laughs> oh my gosh. I know. Christmas is right around the corner. Okay, so I'm going to look for that. I really like that idea. I'm going to get her some of that stuff too. I'm going to get her some of the burger and Play-Doh. I want, yeah, I'm going to get her the... That's a good idea because I kept thinking I'm writing this stuff down as you guys are telling me. I actually have pen and paper in here because I don't want to forget because my brain gets a little loopy because when I start working, I forget everything else and Christmas is right around the corner. So start Christmas shopping um, for your loved ones. It is taking a lot longer to get merchandise to people. So I am having, you know, we get messages in. Um, and uh, once it's once it, the, the label goes on to the items, like Britt takes it to the postal service, and UPS shows up here every day. So if it's got a tracking number and it's not scanned, which they're not scanning at all, um, it's it's left here and it's um, on the slow boat with one oar to, on its way to you. I'm not sure if it's on a cargo U, USPS kind of makeshift boat truck. Uh, van but it is on its way to you so we were getting it out as fast as we can just as fast as we can so it's time to start Christmas shopping and I know that for myself so I know that like with Tassie I have got to get on it so Christmas is around the corner and what is your Christmas tree gonna be this year because I don't I don't really know what I want to do and I need some ideas for the Christmas tree I've done the Grinch the year before last, my Christmas tree was the Grinch. Last year, it was turquoise and silver. Um, I don't know what to do this year. I was kind of thinking maybe like a plaid and silver. I don't know. And maybe I shouldn't say that loud. Somebody might copy me. You guys, I'm being so facetious. You guys know I'm being facetious, right? So anyway, so it's just it's a really, really cute hoodie. And then um, you could pair it with anything that's black. And then I, I personally would also wear this with leggings because it actually feels like leggings. Very comfortable, functioning drawstring. Uh, do nightmare before Christmas. Where would I get that stuff from? Okay, so Tassie. <clears throat> excuse me, Aaron, Tassie, um, Paula. I asked Brent. I actually asked Brent what you guys would think about it. I did. I was like, okay, so what's Paula gonna think? Like what's, you know, what are people going to think, right? Because, um, I don't know, like, I predicted it a long time ago, but like, Britt was like, no, you're crazy. Like, no, it's not going to happen. No, it's not going to happen. And so, like, when it did, I was like, Danny, last year was the same for me. So what I did, this is, this is what I did with Tassie because Tassie would take them all off the tree and they were all over the house and then the dogs would get them. So what I did was I didn't have any ornaments low enough for her. So I put the ornaments all like probably like waist high and then up. That's what I did. I put them waist high and up because when I first did it, she had them and they were like all over the place and I was tripping on them. The dogs had them. They were in the bathtub. They were like freaking in a basket. And I was like, oh my gosh. So then I just kept putting them, every, every time I found them, I kept putting them higher and higher and higher, like all over the place. And I was like, okay, I can't, I cannot keep stepping on these freaking things. Um, yes. Oh my gosh. It is. Oh my gosh. It is America's first tree. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay, if I can convince Brent, I would love to do an upside down tree because then they can't really get to it. But he would have to somehow, he would have to somehow harness it like through the ceiling, uh, through the attic, I think. And if I did, if he did the upside down tree for me, I think that I might be safer. And I've always wanted to do one. I just don't know if I can convince Brent to do it. 
because he's very traditional. So if I can for, if I can figure it out, I I would I I've always wanted to do one. I don't know why. And you know what would be perfect is an up, down, upside down Christmas tree the night for the nightmare before Christmas upside down. So I know, but that's like the cool like that's. But like that's kind of the thing here in Utah, Paula, is upside down Christmas tree. Hi, Turner. I don't know. I just want to try it. Like, let's do something different. I don't freaking know. Let's let oh, go for it. Whatever. I don't know. But uh, maybe I'll do. Oh, uh, my 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 ceilings are very short. Like, you know, it's a, it's an old old farmhouse, so that's pretty short. So I'd have to do a smaller tree. I have to do like literally maybe a four foot tree, maybe, and then figure out how could I hang them on there, and then the top or what would the top? I'd have to maybe do a tie a bow or something. And I have to look. I'm gonna look on Pinterest. Oh, they would jump for it. Oh, they, oh my God! I know America would. Oh my gosh, that's all she's doing. She's like a jumping bean right now. She's a freaking jumping bean for a poodle. Oh my gosh. So anyway. Yeah, I don't know. I, I need to get that. I, I need to get my Christmas tree ideas together though pretty quick because I know supplies. I know uh, supplies even for Halloween at Walmart here are really scarce. So um, I just need to get all that stuff. Oh my gosh, I know. Oh my gosh. But she was obsessed. Was, she, was wa she watched Nightmare Before Christmas and she wanted to watch it twice. And then she wanted to watch, um, which, what's the one with Sparky? What's the name of that one? The Tim Burton one. And uh, I can't remember the name of that one. So when Sparky dies, that's all she keeps saying for like the whole, like, I don't know, it was like 10 minutes. She kept saying, Sparky, Sparky, Sparky. And I was like, um, I know it just won't get here, Danny. It's supplies. It's, it's just, they can't get it here. They just can't get it here. So there's not gonna be a lot. I don't I don't believe, because of the how scarce Halloween is, I think, I actually think uh, Christmas is gonna be worse um, due to the fact they can't get stuff off of these boats. So, you know, I don't know. But Sparky, she watched Halloween Before Christmas like two or three times, and then she watched it on the Sparky, the Tim Burton one. I'm telling you, it was like, poor Sparky, poor Sparky. And then she didn't watch the, you know what? That, that one I didn't show her yet, but she does like the Tim Burton ones. Um, and actually my, my oldest daughters are obsessed also. So um, <clears throat> with those shows and the Corp Bride. Um, so I'll show her that one next. But every time the TV comes on now, she said, I want spooky, I want spooky. Uh, so it's always gotta be a Halloween movie now, no matter what like on the TV, as soon as you clip it on, it's, it has to be spooky because she says, I want, I want spooky, I want spooky. So we've been watching Halloween movies for like uh, probably three weeks now. If, she, if it's on, it has to be spooky. Except for last night, she want, late last night when she was laying down, she wanted to watch The Grinch. So The Grinch will probably always be something that happens, you know, so The Corpse Bride, that's a good one. I'll get her to watch that one too. Cause that's, I forgot about that one. So, but she did like um, the Nightmare Before Christmas. So, and then we we're watching, oh, we tried to get her. The new, if you guys haven't seen it yet, the second Adam's Family came out um, and we rented it and it is really cute. So the first one is phenomenal. I can watch that just as many times as Tassie can. But if you haven't seen the second one, that one came out and it is really cute. It's, it's a cute movie because they do such a good job of it. So um, I, uh, I appreciate you guys. Look, it is literally probably 38 degrees in this room. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It is very cold. Um, so I am going to get something warm to drink. I'm gonna get some um, lunch, or not lunch, breakfast. I'm thinking it's lunchtime already. I appreciate you guys just hanging out with me and talking to me in the mornings. It's kind of pretty much what we do, you know? Just hang out and talk and uh, <clears throat> a lot to do, you know, and I'll just, I'll go back to work. Um, I believe Brooke is live later on that, or Liberty, I can't remember, but we're working. We'll be going live. Um, get your Christmas shopping in. Tell your friends, you know, kind of just 
who we are and, um, you know, just bring them in. It's got a lot of it's word of mouth. Um, <clears throat> I'm sure more of my Utah customer will go away um, now, but um, that, not that I had a ton, but anyway, <clears throat> we're here and, you know, we try to go live as much as we can. Um, and then on the, on the flip side of that, we're working a lot um, to build outside of Facebook. Because, you know, for me, it's a, been one of my hugest initiatives is to not rely on Facebook as much because you don't, the stability of the platform is it, <clears throat> just not there anymore. So you don't know what's going to happen. But please Christmas shop. If you're going to buy some new clothes, Christmas shop with us or get somebody a gift or if you need fall or winter. We have some really, really cool stuff that has come in and is coming in. And plus, um, if you notice on like the lounge wear sets and stuff, I dropped the prices. So you don't have a was now price, but you do have um, that price drop. So I did drop all those um, just so you can have, you know, some cool outfits for, you know, you guys to match for the holidays when the Lifetime movies come on, when you want to cuddle on the couch or whatever it is. So um, I do love you guys sincerely. And when you jump on, you share us, you sprinkle us, know you're supporting me, myself. Uh, my family and then um, just everything we kind of do so <clears throat> excuse me I like I like horse in my throat for some reason so we will be back live um, today tonight probably you'll see some other things uh, some new drops some new releases if you go to new releases I did uh, put some new releases in I have to do that because it takes typically several hours for Facebook to approve those items so I went ahead and go and I dropped them and some really cool like outfits for the holidays if you're going to do something really nice or go somewhere uh, which I actually had a dream that I dressed up really freaking nice and went to an amazing steakhouse because that's been what, I, what I've been wanting to do for ages so um, anyway I sincerely love you guys so much and if you're going to Christmas shop somewhere and it's a boutique please do it with us give us a chance um, and we'll always try to take care of you and that's what we do so um, I love you guys I have got to go deep frost it's like literally so cold in here and then i gotta get brent to figure out how we're gonna set up all the heaters in here now that the cold is here so um and i appreciate your support to me and i hope you don't leave me um you know to go elsewhere um and i you know one of the things i read this is very interesting i read um probably about four days ago, and maybe it was meant to be, there's always a reason for something in your life, but I read that um, your customers, <clears throat> if, if one person is you know, mimicking another, or copying another, it is a form of flattery, but your customers eventually start to understand and know who the originators are because um, they see it, right? So they, they'll see it. And I just have to trust and believe in that, and you know, believe that I have these relationships with the customers that I do have and I've built that for over a year now so um, I do appreciate you guys I love you guys so much um, and um, I hope that all of your dreams and all of your work and hard work come to fruition um, because I do pray for you guys I want you to be successful whether and however you define wealth in your life whether that's happiness um, just in your daily life and or if that's money or if that's a nice house or a nice car or, five dogs right so however you define your wealth um i hope that you do have that in your daily life um, because i want you to be happy um paula yes and um and you know what um somebody else said that to me yesterday too so um and look i've had mine you know there's things i've mistakes i've made mistakes in my life um but it shows true character and so you know, I've made mistakes and car will come right, right around and but the older I get and I think starting, you know, as I got into my 30s and things change, you know, you start to understand, you start to slow down that your relationships are more important. Um, and I've always been in retail, so I understand that cutthroat mentality. Um, I've been in retail since I was 18, 18 years old. And so, um, you know, you just get it, you understand it and then what, what, what happens to me as a person is it lights another fire. So I've already got all these candles burning, right? And I already am spinning all these plates, but it lights a bigger fire. Cause now I'm like, okay, 
I, okay, let's do this, you know? So kind of like, the, here's a party. Yes, have a great day, Sandra. And I want, hi, Sheila. Um, good morning. So listen, I want you guys to be happy today. Whatever that is, and I don't care. If it's, I don't care if it's just going to have a morning cup of coffee or going to get a cider donut or going to get a pumpkin donut like I really want. Uh, whatever makes you happy today, just go and do that um, and have a great day. But I'll be back. Um, I'm, I'm going to try to be back and go live again um, today. And if it's not with um, Brooke, then it's with Liberty because we're Liberty still trained. So, and then Paula, we don't see you. I sincerely like, I am really kind of heartbroken about it because I was talking to Brent, but I'm afraid not to go to the last show this year. It, it kind of scares me. So, because I don't know, but I, I, here's my true genuine belief is I don't know that I will even get it. So with the cargo situation. So grab your uh, Christmas gift shop, shop our website, shop our app, um, anytime. So I love you guys. I'm gonna go warm up, I'm gonna go have some breakfast and um, it's all going to be well because now I'm excited and it's just, um, it's gonna be great. Love you guys.